Hello and welcome and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the top 5 best arc boss creatures so without further ado let's get straight into it. So coming in at the number 10 spot I have decided to put the Mantis as I find this creature is highly effective in boss scenarios. It is quite a fast rapid creature and also with that it can wield weapons too. It is a really valuable one for defeating the Manticore on Scorched Earth. That's definitely where I would advise it the most out of all of these. And although the same method can be a little bit obnoxious in cases, I find it is not too bad. And there are some creatures on this list which do have much harder tame methods than this creature. Again, you're going to want to choose those weapons wisely that you use. Swords and pikes are going to be your best bet. I would arguably go for pikes because the durability is higher. Maybe the damage isn't higher, but you can always get some ascendant ones on there. Do take into mind that the, the durability of the weapons does drop a lot faster when the Mantis is wielding them compared to if you were wielding them. So don't judge it based on that. Either way, that's all the precautions for this creature to use it in a given boss scenario. Apart from also actually the health isn't the greatest especially if you get some lower level ones so be careful for that but as long as the boss fight isn't too long you will have a good time using mantises in that scenario next up i have chosen the carcodontosaurus for this list as it does pay quite a good contribution to defeating any of the extinction bosses that being any of the titans and just the alpha king titan as well the beta king titan the gamma king titan all of those all of the bosses on extinction are gonna be where you're gonna use this creature and it is your best bet really yes you could still use gigas and gigas will still be effective but they are a lot less reliable than this creature and let me tell you the main reason why you probably know by now that the giga has a blood rage not a blood rage sorry a rage ability the blood rage belongs to this creature and essentially what that means is if it takes a certain amount of damage in a certain period of time because it is based on the timer as well then it will take you off of its saddle and just go into full rage mode and just try and demolish everything around it and if you're using it in a given boss scenario it's going to be dealing quite a lot of damage quite quickly especially considering you know they are the titans we're talking about they tend to damage uh, quite quickly and obviously with a lot of heavy damage they don't tend to just give small amounts of damage out over time it tends to be quite rapid and very forceful and sometimes the gears can get out of control and it's really not going to be your best bet also the more you fight with these things the more damage they'll do until their blood rage is full they really are just more reliable than the giga for that reason and that's why they're here now the megalosaurus is one of those where i find it is quite underrated and you might actually consider the rock drake to be quite a good boss team for its cheesing of the rock club boss fight so brief honorable mention there but it is not on any other spot in the list anyway talking about the megalosaurus a bit off topic to be honest the megalosaurus is one of those creatures where i find it is forgotten in the given boss fighting community and i find it is a very useful one and maybe it would be a bit of a tame uh, a pain sorry to take it to that given boss arena because it only really uh, works well at night time i'm not sure if that works on the like island or in other maps like that where you're in a boss fight does it have a day and night are these things going to sleep through it either way on operation they are absolute kings of the boss fighting area and obviously they excel in that for many reasons they have the bleed ability obviously on top of that too they are very fast nimble agile creatures and this hugely attributes them to being great boss creatures yes a heavy uh, damage dealing creature is nice to have but one which is also very mobile will give you a much higher chance of given survival in these boss fighting scenarios and this really does on top of that on operation you can use it for so many other things as well and on other maps too they are great versatile travelers and they generally just pack a punch all the time you're using them so if you tend to travel a lot in the night time and if you feel like maybe you want to give these creatures a go for some boss fights then sure try it and i think you won't be disappointed in number seven we have got the megatherium 
and this creature is here because if you've ever fought the brood mother you will know how great these creatures are if you've used them in that boss fight and this is just for one main reason if they kill an insect which in this case are the minions or they're actually Arrhenios that the broodmother spawns but they're the minions of which the broodmother spawns it's going to kill those and then it's going to get this insect buff which essentially i think it's called like a rage buff again something to do with that and it's going to deal a lot more damage to the broodmother and to all the other creatures around it as well on top of that it on as well is actually these things are going to take less damage too which is even greater in a given boss scenario and if you ever use on top of it as well i actually haven't included this in the list because this is just the fighters for boss battles although i really should give it an honorable mention as the use is one of those creatures where it gets a gold star for being a great boss creature but this is the uh, top 10 boss fighters list i probably didn't make that too obvious apart from in the title where i think in the intro i actually just said boss teams but you know you, you can read i'm relying on you for that either way yeah very good for the brew mother boss fight and the UT deserves a little honorable mention because it still can fight and you know you'll want one in a boss fight continuing on we have got the theory and the reason why this creature is here is not just because its saddle is unlocked at level 69 nice it is because this is really a great boss creature for dealing with the dragon on the island and obviously asa is still kind of a new thing and a lot more people are playing on the island admittedly scorched earth has moved a lot of players onto that as honestly that is the best thing in my opinion asa has to offer right now but the theory is that go-to for the dragon boss fight and that is because it has an ability the dragon not the theory where it the dragon is going to shoot out loads of fire and it's going to deal tons of damage to carnivores actually is particularly offensive to those creatures where as the theory does not fall into that category as it is not a carnivore and it still packs a lot of punch in the damage department has great health great stamina great mobility and its weight isn't too bad as well that doesn't really matter an awful lot in a boss fight as long as it still is enough to maybe carry a bit of uh, food in it and just you know so you can ride it possibly also that actually does come to one thing for food you can't just chuck meat in this thing's inventory although it can gather it it does not eat it and sweet vegetable cake is your best bet to healing these things quickly but that is quite expensive so that's the only real downside for using theories in a boss fighting scenario in a number five we have got the spinosaurus and come on when it comes to boss fights this is another one of those underrated creatures and i really do wish and uh, still that people use these creatures more for boss fights because rexes do seem to be all the rage and although they are on this list later on because i really do feel as if you know they deserve a place on the list as they have done a lot for people in boss fights this could possibly be seen as a potentially better one it's just considering the use of a rex and the versatility that it offers i'm having to put that creature high on the list it's just simply that has a point of higher status but the spino has a lot going for it as well admittedly having a lower health stat though it does boast even more damage than the rex and a hell of a lot more mobility on top of that it is actually a pretty good underwater swimmer as well not obviously the best out there but you could do the moda with some spinos if you wanted and obviously if you're doing that on gen 1 you'd be getting x spinos anyway so there is a boosted variant they can also when on land get on their hind legs and deal even more damage they can turn 360 on the spot which a rex can't do which makes them invaluable for pvp potential but you know still a boss fight is not pvp but it can still be applied to any given combat scenario it's just that is mainly used in pvp and it's where the rexes lack in pvp it's why they don't actually get used all too much because their mobility is frankly quite rubbish and if the thing that they're attacking isn't exactly in front of them then there's a tendency that they'll miss and they tend to be quite easy to kill off that way but yes the spino is at number five let's continue on this might be an unpopular opinion considering i'm going to give it away that the rex is in at number three but in at number four i'm putting the aloe because i find it is a really great boss creature not only is it small and very agile it also does boast the pack buff on top of it and 
the bleed ability too they really are great little fighters and they're not the hardest to tame you can even tame it three in one go if you build a big enough trap simply lure all of them in and then boom there you go once you've knocked them out and you've fed them you've got three aloes and a good five or so maybe ten if you are doing some of the alpha boss fights will be enough for all of them on the island I'm talking about here because I'm mainly generalizing to that map because they really are very effective fighters you could probably still do it with five as long as their health is high enough that's the only thing they're really lacking compared to something like a rex because they'll probably be dealing more damage and they are far more agile and just generally more convenient especially actually if you're doing the oversteer I find although I don't really typically use them for that boss fight as it is a little bit too long and I find quite a lot of the allies do tend to die especially considering even the rexes tend to die and their health is quite a bit higher than something on the allo but I guess maybe if you brawl enough you could do it I haven't really done it all too much I've done it once or twice but that was on gamma I've never done the alpha overseer with allos I've only ever done it with uh, rexes and then obviously a UT because you've got to bring the UT in it's not in this list because I don't really use it all too much as a general boss fighter but I did give it a mention as it definitely still can fight I guess I've given it two mentions now but yes the aloe really does deserve to be on this list if you've never used one before for a, a boss fighting scenario tame yourself a pack of maybe five and do one of the gamma ones or beta Actually, they could probably even smash through that with absolute ease. Maybe don't try the alphas until you've got at least 10 of these things and you're going to have a really great time. You're not going to regret taming one at all. In at number three, like I said, we have got the Rex. And I have to put this thing here. Come on, it boasts a lot of health. It has a lot of damage up its sleeve. And although it's not the most mobile, it really is the foundation of what is a great boss creature and people use these things all over the place they really are a go-to if you never can figure out what creature you're going to use for a boss fight the rex is probably the answer that you've been looking for it really does make sense it is a big uh, carnivore that is going to just generally pack a lot of punch in the damage department and be quite defensive in the aspect of its health is quite good and that is where it stands apart from a lot of the other carnivores because its health is a lot higher which makes it ideal for boss scenarios yes you're going to be want to uh, yes you're going to want to deal loads of damage quickly but you're also going to want to have enough health to withstand it and again that's where creatures like sometimes the spino and the aloe tend to fall a little bit behind and some of the other creatures that I talked about much much earlier on the list which is why they're further back. The Rex is just the foundation of it all and it deserves to be here. It is the OG. It deserves a respect that you know it actually doesn't tend to get quite as much nowadays just considering how easy the entertainment people have them all over the place but they really can do a lot especially if you get some mutated ones on top of it as well as some health and damage mutations don't underestimate these things in a given boss fighting scenario because they will pack a punch and they're very much worth it in number two we have got the shadow main and come on we're looking at this creature you can probably tell why it's such a great boss tame yes maybe it doesn't have quite the level of health as a rex but considering it's insanely high mobility it's pack buff it's hydration buff and the fact that it can just deal tons of damage and you can get loads of these things relatively easily especially once you've got your first pair because the tone method is actually quite awkward so maybe it's not the easiest from the get-go but once you've got a good high level male and female breed those things up and you're going to have yourself an absolute army of shadow mains especially if you get some mutations on top of it as well they are the second best boss creatures that i can think of for any given boss fight apart from obviously the extinction bosses just use gigas or carcondosauruses for that because they're in a sort of different league you can even use these things for the moda if you want as they are very nice at swimming underwater and actually just underwater boss fights of which there are only one of i've done all of the variants of the moda gamma beta and alpha with this thing and it did actually work pretty well if you haven't done that before again give that a try in at number one we have got the deinonychus and this always tops my list for the best box creatures some people just say well they're really feeble in the health department you can just kill them off really quickly 
obviously don't use things uh, these things for the extinction bosses they will not last but for everything else also apart from the moda actually as well they are the ideal because they deal bleed damage to bosses as they can grapple onto them and just tear them to absolute shreds i find they are just so effective so mobile so useful they also have the pack buff as well like the shadow bane and yes maybe it's only really as effective for one less boss than the shadow man so you'd be like well the shadow man has to be better but i find it is more effective for all those other bosses than the shadow man which is why i have to put it in at number one it is the king of boss fights for me yes some people think differently some people like aloes must be in the number one spot some people like rex's must be in the number one spot some people would say shadow man should be in the number one spot or gigas or car and sources for the extinction boss fights and they're just their sheer power but these uh these not the shadow main the dynonicus always deserves to be in the number one spot for me and i'm pretty sure my opinion will never change unless like the dynonicus 2.0 comes out and it absolutely changes my perception of what the dynamicus is and i'm like well this new creature is just miles and miles better but i still have not found that ever since valguero has released i've been using these things for my boss fights and pretty much nothing else end of but anyway that is it in today's video i really hope that you've enjoyed as i've definitely enjoyed making this one as always comment down below what is your favorite boss fighter and if you didn't agree with this list, put your 10 in the comments below and i'll see you all later